Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 things kids today will never understand. So if you're a 90s kid, or even older, then you know there's certain things 90s kids and those older had to deal with. Some were fun, nostalgic, and good things, and other things were, well, less good. But today we're going to look at a collection of things kids today will never understand, from the struggles to the good times. And this video will be pretty hilarious and informative whether you're a 90s kid, or a young kid who doesn't understand anything that 90s kids had to go through. But before we get into any of that, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have car window rollers. How many of you guys remember these? Now don't get me wrong, you may still have one in your car today. In fact, I do. But there's no denying that in most cars you have a fancy electronic way of rolling the windows down. Back in the 90s however, this simply did not exist. Instead you had to wind them down with one of these handles. And kids back then would know the strength you'd have to have to actually do this. These handles would always be so firm and it would be such a hassle to roll it down. That's the last thing you want to do when you get into a car on a hot day. It was pretty much a workout at the gym to get the window to come down. If any of you kids today have never seen one of these, then good for you. That means you can act like some kind of billionaire rolling down your windows with a fancy button. But if you grew up in the 90s, then you will definitely remember these window rollers. Next up is unbreakable phones. So out of your friend group, how many people have cracked phone screens? I'd be fairly confident in saying around 50%, right? Pretty much everyone I know who has a phone has a broken screen. Now, this is partly because humans are dumb and we drop stuff all the time, but also you have to blame the phone manufacturers. It seems like iPhone screens are made to break, they're so flimsy. Sure, they mean you can watch Netflix in 1080p, but it also means the slightest drop will destroy your screen. Well, back in the day, I'm sure many kids remember this. That is, the Nokia 3310. This was a cell phone you could get back in the day for around $40. Now, it may not seem like anything special, but this phone was indestructible. Some people even said that if you dropped this, the ground would break before the phone would. I'm sure any 90s kids have owned something like this or similar. In fact, this was my first ever cell phone. Now a kid's first phone is likely an iPhone or an Android. But back in the day, these phones would simply never break. And you'd never find any glitches on them either. In fact, my Nokia from around 20 years ago still works today. And if you dropped it in a swimming pool, a bowl of cereal, or in your toilet, then don't worry about it. It should be fine. Next up is dial-up. So many kids today likely don't even know what dial-up is. Yeah, that's gotta make you feel old. For anyone who doesn't know, the internet did not used to be as fast as it is today. You used to get internet from dial-ups. You would hook your computer up to a modem, and then your ISP would use a phone line to connect you to the internet. I'm sure we all remember the AOL dial-up screen, and of course, the classic dial-up sound. It used to be a real drag, and images would load pixel by pixel. Luckily, with high-speed internets of today, that is a thing of the past. But it is definitely a struggle kids today just don't appreciate. Next up is Rewind. So, how do you get movies today? Chances are you get them from Netflix. Or if you're a scary internet pirater, perhaps Putlocker. Not that I know what Putlocker is, of course. But anyway, back in the day you used to get them from Blockbuster. Blockbuster used to be the place to go on a Friday night. Instead of binge watching a million movies, you'd rent one. But that was not the only struggle of renting VHS tapes from Blockbuster. You see, a VHS tape is a film reel that winds around. And if you wanted to replay the movie, you would have to rewind it. On every blockbuster VHS tape, it would say, please remember to rewind. But unfortunately, some, scratch that, many people would not follow this rule. They disobeyed the be kind, please rewind policy and left it unwound. This meant before you could even watch the film, you'd have to spend around 20 minutes winding it back up. Yeah, nowadays kids with Netflix simply don't realize this. But back in the day, this was a common struggle. Next up is MySpace page. So today young people on social media pretty much just use Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. A few use Facebook but that's kind of dying out. However back in the day people would use AIM, AOL Messenger and also MySpace. Today these are things of the past. But one thing MySpace profiles had over every other social media today is the amount of customization. You could control your background and even the music that plays when you enter your profile. Kids would spend hours and hours perfecting their profiles to make them absolutely perfect. And although they did look like an ugly mess with gangster spongebobs all over the place, they were still pretty cool at the time. Do you guys remember organizing your AOL and MySpace profiles, or are you too young? Next up is LimeWire. So today there's no need to buy music. People simply stream it on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Music. But back in the day, the main way of getting music was LimeWire. 
People would upload music onto LimeWire and then you would download it for free. However, you couldn't sample a track before downloading it. This meant most of the time when you downloaded a song, you would be very disappointed. That is because it would be some kind of terrible cover or kids bop version. Kind of like on SoundCloud when you try and listen to a popular song and it turns out to be some guy covering it. But remember, back then a download wasn't something you could do in a matter of seconds. It would take minutes and sometimes hours to download one song. So if you downloaded the wrong song, then sorry, but you just wasted hours. Let me know if you guys remember the struggles of LimeWire or not. Next up is floppy disks. So most kids probably don't know what this even is. If you want extra storage on your computer, you likely use a USB or even the cloud. But back then, none of that existed and you would use a floppy disk. Floppy disks were basically disks where you could store files. Today, computers don't even have slots for them. But back in the day, you could store a very small amount of files on a floppy disk. By today's standards, you could store about one image on them. But back then, file sizes were not as big, so you could store a little bit more. But it definitely was not ideal having to carry around tons of these disks. Let me know if you guys have any floppy disks in your house. Or if you're very young, let me know if you know what a floppy disk is or not. Remember guys, there's no shame in not even knowing what one of these things is. Next up is Yellow Pages. So nowadays you likely don't even need to find somebody's phone number. You likely just contact them by Instagram DMs or Snapchat. But if you want to find the number of a business, you just Google it, right? Well back then, Google was not a thing. Instead, you'd have to flick through millions of pages in the Yellow Pages. For anyone who doesn't know, the Yellow Pages was a massive book filled with every number in the world. Or at least it seemed that way, it was really just in your area. The numbers would be alphabetized, which means you'd have to track through millions of results to find the one number you were looking for. Yeah, Google makes things a lot easier. But if you guys remember having to track through millions of Yellow Pages to find one number, then you know the struggles of 90s kids. Next up is blowing into cartridges. Now, you may be thinking, what on earth am I talking about when I say that? Today, when a game breaks, you can just re-download it. But back in the day, there was a magical life hack to fix all of your gaming malfunctions. That was simply blowing into the cartridge of your Nintendo game. If, for example, your Pokemon game wasn't saving, you'd simply do this. You'd blow into the cartridge and it would fix most problems. Nobody knows exactly how this worked, but I guess dust would just get in the way. How many of you guys remember spending hours blowing into your game's cartridges trying to get your games to work? If you do, then you know the struggles of 90s kids. But if not, then count yourself lucky you can simply re-download all your games. Next up is mobile games. So on the subject of games, what kind of games do you play? Chances are, even if you're on a cell phone, you play some games with amazing graphics. Well, back in the day, 90s kids didn't have that. But it doesn't mean to say they didn't have some awesome games. Well, believe it or not, they came with games. These included things like chess and also everyone's favorite, Snake. Sure, you can play Snake on iPhones today, but it's just not the same. Back in the day, Snake would take up the pixels of the phone and it would be a great experience. Back then, it was a novelty having a game on your cell phone. But today, it's pretty much expected and you can even play major games like Fortnite on your cell phone. It's crazy to think that just 10 years earlier, we had to play Snake for entertainment. But you can't deny it, even today, Snake is kind of fun. Coming up next is music devices. So we all know that the ways we download and stream music are different today. But what do you listen to music on? Chances are you listen to music on your cell phone or your laptop. But back in the day you would have a dedicated device just for music. And I'm not talking about an iPod which would fit neatly in your pocket. I mean something like a CD player or a Sony Walkman. Yeah, try exercising with one of these things. It was not the easiest thing to do. We all know the struggle of ramming one of these giant things into your pockets. Kids these days simply never know the struggle. And they also don't know the struggle of having a massive cable hanging out of your ears. While today we have Bluetooth earphones, back then you had a massive cable and large headphones. Try jogging with massive headphones in your ears. It was not exactly a nice experience. You'd get very hot and they'd always fall off. It's a good thing Apple make wireless headphones nowadays. But at least you didn't have to worry about misplacing your CD player as it was pretty much impossible to miss. Next up is Who's Calling. So this is a simple thing we never think about today, but it is a modern day luxury. So let's say your phone rings, you can look at it and decide whether you want to answer the call or not. For example, if it's your ex-wife or your boss, then you likely don't want to answer the call. But if it's your crush or your friend calling to make plans, then you likely do want to answer it. Well, back in the day, we didn't have that luxury. You'd have to answer the phone without knowing who was calling. That is because there was no such thing as caller ID. You'd simply have to take your chances by saying yes, and you just hope the person on the other end of the phone was not somebody you didn't want to talk to. Just think about how how many four hour long conversations with your grandma you got locked into by not having caller ID. Nowadays that's not a problem and Grammy is getting denied. But back then that was a struggle kids just had to face. 
Check out the poll in the top right corner and vote for the thing you remember on this list. And be sure to check out my second channel for some cool life hacks. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment, so be sure to click it to check it out. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s for new videos every day.